you know. No. I don't think. Or even Game of Thrones. I don't even think Game of Thrones has had no, that. No, Game of Thrones is much more popular. Yeah. I mean, that's died a death since season 8, and rightly so. I mean, you, you barely oh, can think about it. Like, why, does it, why did season 6 through 8 have to happen? Sorry, 5 oh, through I 8. I enjoyed eight. season season 6. But, um, yeah, no, I, I had to fucking pull the plug and jump out the window after the fucking bad pussy. Oh, Jesus Christ. <clears throat> That After they bad. butchered Dorn and threw it in the trash can. I mean, yeah. I mean, they, they just... Like, they it. gutted Dorn and just fucking threw it away. I'm like, it, it's yeah, just I clearly didn't know what they do. Not care. They do not care anymore. I, I heard Shoot. they yeah. did. They did. That, that was probably one of the coolest part of the books. Part. And they did, they did crucify that. Well, Dorn, uh, fucking, they bail on... I mean, did, did you see what they done to Balon? Did you they see... made him into a fucking caricature of a caricature of a fucking like, like he's these like aspects of being like a fucking god, and like he does like, like you see some Balon the, the fucking absolute like literally fucking walking hazard light in the book, and then he like fucks in the f- everyone up, and then in, and in, in the fucking series he's like fingered up the bone. In the and series like, he's like a real? fucking cuck boy to fucking Cersei. <laughs> like what is this? It's just, what it's literally, absolute ass. literally, it was some of the worst writing I've ever seen in the fucking series. It was some of the worst uh, writing, like the fight between him and Jamie at the end. The only the reason he was relevant is because he had fucking aim lock on his fucking torpedoes. Exactly, man, he had fucking modded his fucking what was uh, that? What was that? What was that? And then he has head across know. the fucking entire wall and doesn't shoot anything. I know, I don't, I don't even know. Like, I, I have so mm. many problems with that. It's also like... You have, like, you built up these bad guys for a fucking decade, and you come to the final battle, and the motherfucker and they doesn't even... in the wind. They don't even swing their fucking sword. There's not one sword fight with a fucking White Walker. And then, and, then, and then they just, you know, conveniently just forgot everything. Yeah. What the, the thing, fuck? The thing man? is... Yeah, so you're talking about the directors, like, how far apart they are, and, like, location. Like, did they no, how far apart other? were the director's comments uh, made? Like, you know, after the episode. I don't know. I don't. Made the fucking comments. It was like one of the. Uh, I just, I'm just... I, I, I didn't even watch it because every one of them is them. Sneaky. I saw them on fucking Reddit as clips where mm. they just said ridiculous garbage. Yeah, because they don't know what they're doing. They don't have a fucking clue. Oh, no, they don't. Like, you could have given a monkey like, ass. They, they can do work like, well a with a script, but if you give them a pen and a piece of paper, like. Nah. We'll shove it up the ass and dance across the street. The thing is, though, it's the simplest things. You build up the bad guys against the good guys, and then you make them fight. Like, that's, like, writing number one. <clears throat> and I know that shit. At least shit. you have no idea. Go reference the books. You know what I mean? Or just, it's like, so ask... Fucking... Just ask fucking George and go, turns, George, what are you thinking? You turn Tyrion into a fucking tapestry. Like, what is this? Oh, man. Trash. Even Varys. Like, fucking Varys. Like, oh, oh, man. Right, like, that Braun, fuck. what the fuck did you do to Braun? Yeah, it's Conference just... Relief. Why is he still alive? Should have been <sighs> dead like ten fucking two seasons ago. Like, what is so this? So bad. And then it's like, like yeah, he's a great character. Yeah, yes. I, I like. The problem Braun. is you get the pro- master of coin. Like master him. of coin. Two, no. Two, three, no. Three, four seasons ago, he didn't know what a fucking bank is. <laughs> you thought a bank is where you put coins up a prostitute's arse to buy it? Like, like, like didn't that's know anything. The concept of money. Like, like it's, in it's... the Red Keep, one uh, dialogue with Tyrion, he's just saying, like, I don't know what this shit is, give me money. I want a castle. Yeah. And now he's Master of Coin. He doesn't fuck all. He's Master of High Garden. Sorry, what? It's it's not. How it's is not. he? And, and Bran ending up on the throne, he was the greatest story oh of my all. Oh, God. I think, I think it's, like they're for, it's like they, they forgot the script of five episodes ago. Exactly. <laughs> when they wrote that. Like, what? It's like, it's like oh. That's the, the dumbest the thing ever. Story will get on the throne. It's like no one's fucking you heard realize... of that street anyway. He's been up north, beyond the if wall. No one's heard it, of it. If you end it like that and just proceed as real life goes, the rebellion in two days. Yeah. Like what are you on uh, about? I can, I can Dorn. Agree what what happened to Dorn? I'm just gonna take a brief note to mention Razan. What happened to Dorn? Success. But Who I did enjoy most of the season. Did you? But the but the, but the ending. It made me not want to watch the series ever again because no. the ending was no. so unsatisfying. I I feel like that by the whole it's ruined the entire TV series. No intention of watching. Yeah, yeah. I I, I, I can't, can't go back. I just no, I I never no, watch. I can't even. Like, I've like unfollowed I'm anything to do with Thrones, and I'm not gonna watch any spinoffs because they're, they're not gonna <laughs> happen anyway. Like they I will had, never touch like, Game of Thrones. A Song of Ice and Fire. Yes, I'll reread. 
because I can rewrite the memory Game of Thrones has in my brain with the book, mm. and make sure it just I forget. Hopefully, one day. And George R. R. Martin has said his ending would be different. Of course, well, to be honest, he has a fucking brain in his head. Of course, it'd be different. It's not too like fucking two monkeys sharing the thing one is, brain cell. I, I think I think he knew how it was going to. He gave. Um, he knew. He gave shites. them the he ending. Gave them guidelines. They didn't he, do it because they're cunt. He gave them the guidelines. He gave them the ending. He had in his mind at first, but after he seen how bad the reception was on the show, he changed his mind about how he was going to end. I think that's how. how, how I, think. I don't know. I do that ending George would that would ending that. could have made sense? It's just they had they could had have, to that fill ending in the would blanks. Have been fine. If you did the fucking everything else, like. Yeah, but there's like, I don't think George would have done that. Like, George would have not had the White Walkers not swing a single fucking sword and die to Arya, fucking do an Assassin's Creed out of the middle of yeah, nowhere. Well, just well, floating well, in midair. What was that? That's, that's literally that's just, hi, oh, we need a Deus Ex Machina. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he needs to die, right? He's, he's, he's going to give them the basic story points that they have to hit. And they're well, going I think to the, the battle with the White Walkers the... will be a pretty big story point. That you know, was one of the worst. That was one of the most that, that, pissed that's away storylines. Story, story point is that battle. The story point there is that, that, that is going to happen. It is how it happens. Is how. Uh, can I? Can I just? Can I just put a bit of input here? No. Would I be right in saying? Would I be right in saying that? The moment they fucked up was the moment they announced lesser episodes. Yeah, 100%. I wouldn't say that's a contributing. F- I would. I would say that's a contributing factor. HBO also even... were all for the ten episodes, but they had said no. We can get it done in this many episodes. They were wrong. No, it's not. They just needed that. Like, more it's episodes. Not, just, it's not just, just that though. Things out. Even if you stretch that out. You know, the only thing you fix there is Danny's sudden turn. The other shit that happened is still core problems. That episode of the Battle of Winterfell could have been a good episode if they'd have done it properly. If and I could see not. anything. If yeah. I could see anything. If we actually battled the fucking bad guys. Um, you didn't if, the... In, if the main strategic uh, decision wasn't absolute ass. Yeah, exactly. Let's send our main attack force into the darkness with no range support. What, what what was that all about? You know, like we couldn't even when we were watching it, no it you couldn't even see anything. It made no sense. What was that about? Like, like how 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 does that pass production? Yeah, like, do you know yeah. what I mean? How 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 like how you when your directors are uh, yeah. <laughs> off to their Starcraft? Uh, Honestly, like, this is where I think they went wrong with that. This is where I think they went wrong with that. It was the editor's fault that he made it so dark in the first place. It was Benioff and Weiss's incompetent decision to greenlight that decision by the editor to, you know, to let that through. I think the big problem... But it's not just the darkness. They were, they, were, they were editing it in a dark room. They didn't take into consideration that people might be watching this in a room with the lighting a little bit brighter. And for me, I didn't personally have a lad. Lad, I was watching it in the pitch black. I was watching it in pitch black and still couldn't fucking see anything. I was watching it in my room here, on my monitor, and still couldn't see anything. I put up the I put up the brightness and still couldn't see it. I was like, I, I, I was like, I've missed half of this. And the thing I, is, that's just the, one I'm problem out of oh, many. Lot armor garbage. Oh yeah, Jesus Christ. Yeah, the, I, yeah. Why do you even I really do hated that? Like, if if you're gonna let after the fifth it, time, you're like, oh, are they gonna survive? Like, yeah, they are. Yeah, yeah, they are. It's the sixth time. <laughs> yeah, it's like a meteor could hit the fucking earth, and Jamie, uh, Jamie, and fucking still live to the final episode. Like, it's just fucking silly. It's actually like. There's so many problems with that episode. Like they should have killed just... at least half of the. No, there weren't so many that problems. That episode. that episode was like a there is, like that whole thing should just be wiped. Like there's nothing salvageable about that episode. There is nothing salvageable. It is all ass. It is all shit. The it's best wiped. episode of that season was the pre-battle episode. Agree or disagree? Yeah, but even then the pacing was all wrong. It was go. It like it went from way too slow to fucking ramping up too quickly. Like I called it. I said from the first episode and said this pacing is wrong. They have fucked this, and I am sorry, but I was fucking right. I called that shit from episode one. You know I did, and I was fucking on that money. Don't know what you're talking about. 
fucking well, on that well, money. Mark, nah, I remember you saying it. Suburb, I think you should scrap the whole um, developer uh, career and um, become a showrunner. I mean, if it doesn't work out, fuck it, yeah. Hi- hire me. <laughs> because you clearly don't know what you're doing. Like, uh, that, that pacing was so bad. And it, they've clearly did it because they wanted to get out of Dodge as soon as possible so they could ruin Star Wars and also didn't know what the fuck they That's were doing. It's funny, because um, a show that I I think uh, half of the people here, a show that half of the people here, I, uh, there's a show I know half of the people here don't like, one pe- person here catching up on it, and I'm the one that's caught up on it. But they recently did an episode very similar to the Battle of Winterfell, but they did it a lot better. And I mean a lot better. For those of you and who don't know what he's talking is... about, it's The Walking Dead. Yeah, it's The Walking Dead. Cause yeah, I stopped show... watching after season two because I was bored to death. Yep, I'll agree with you on that. That's my message with The Walking Dead. It drags and it drags, drags and drags and drags. It does. I mean, I mean, drags again. I mean, only because of The Walking Dead, I now know what to do in, a, in an apocalypse that we have now been put, put into. 